not even up to one day since this housemate lost their wager and guys we've already had our first food fight and i'm watching the video and i'm like guys you guys haven't even started yet the hunger that you guys are going to face have not even started this is saturday so wait maybe till monday when the basic food you guys are going to be getting from big brother arrives and you know that truly there's hunger in the land because guys watching yesterday's wager tax presentation you all I, all I kept asking is hunger. It's like none of this housemate has ever witnessed hunger before. It's like none of this housemate knows what Big Brother is, cap is capable of. Because what Big Brother told this housemate to do in their wager presentation versus what this housemate do is a normal case of what I ordered versus what I got. Yeah, some of them did amazing. People like Dindine, Radicals, their their performance was amazing and i've forgotten one of the housemates that said uh, he's the vdm of big brother that his passion is to fight online vendors and i'm like we already have vdm there's no need to have another vdm but that's by the way guys in today's video we'll be talking about the food fight that this housemate had which happened between Gucci and tj guys i welcome you to today's video my name is shoots and this is powerhouse of positivity <laughs> If this is your first time coming across my channel, all you need to do to support, drop us a like. Let me hear your thought down below in the comment section. And if you enjoy watching our video and you feel like you want to come back, just subscribe and turn on your post notification so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. Guys, let's jump into what caused the drama. So, earlier yesterday, after the housemate lost their wager, they kind of had a conversation. A conversation kind of happened between TJ... Uh, between TJ, Damilola, one of them Badiwe twins, and some other housemates, where they talked about how they can make the remaining food substance sustain them from now until Big Brother brings back the basic food that he's going to bring for them whenever Big Brother chooses to bring it for them. So they had that conversation and they all came to an agreement of okay, instead of everybody coming, cooking one after the other, cooking one after the other, why don't we all come together, decide on what to eat that day? One person go into the kitchen, cook it bring it out plate it out to all the housemates and everybody will eat and guys most of the most of them agreed to eat but now the problem is some people were not present while the conversation were happening someone like ruti and to make matters worse ruti already ate yam and then tj today came up and felt like okay there's a there's still remaining why not i boil yam let's all eat yam this afternoon instead of someone cooking another thing but ruti already made up her mind okay i already ate yam let me boil rice today and eat with the remaining stew and guys the problem is stew what are we going to eat with stew now tj on the other hand is cooking for the whole housemate to eat yam ruti on the other hand had already eaten yam i felt like there's no need for her to eat yam again so she decided to cook rice and then guys that is when the war started uh, they started talking about each other yapping each other talking about no this is and as they were talking about that, some of the housemates heard them and decided to come in and chime in. And guys, these uh, twin sisters, you, the twin sisters is like their strategies this, uh, this season is whenever they feel like there is a fight going on, they go in there inside themselves and carry the fight on the head. Because tell me why Ruth is complaining about her food fight and, them, and the twins took it up to go fight TJ. Guys, see, the problem I have with this both of them they are they, are, they, they have their opinion said and both of them are right if you are looking at it from a different angle ruti already ate yam so eating yam again is unhealthy the housemates are trying to make the food they have sustain them to be brother brings back the food so what they had in mind is to cook for everybody them too they are right in their own senses but what i have to say about this whole fight is it is unnecessary to be happening now it is quite unnecessary to be happening now after the abysmal of display you guys did in your in your wager tax presentation you guys food shouldn't be one of your main concerns now just try on a way to improve on your craft try on a way to improve on delivering what big brother asks of you to do then from there you won't be having any food problem guys you know what you think about this uh food problem between tj and ruti and how other housemates handled the matter and in the other news guys i wanted to make this video yesterday but the tax started i wanted to say that the shatoria pair 
for the first time in history, we saw them together, right? We saw them together have a conversation that is more than two minutes long. And this housemate, we are busy laughing. And I'm looking at these people like, oh, so you guys had that kind of chemistry to talk to each other, to have a proper conversation. And in that conversation, Sean tried to explain to, uh, to Victoria everything that happened, why he made a mistake and, and failed that task that they did where Big Brother asked them to smell their partner and indicate which of the housemates are their partner. That is because uh, Victoria changed her cologne, all sort of rubbish. And I'm looking at Sean, I'm like, Sean, it's a lie. It's a lie. If you have paid attention to Victoria since the day you guys came into the house, if you have not been uh, showering yourself with, to uh, warning, you would have noticed that, okay, she, she actually changed her cologne or she actually changed her body spray. But no, you were busy kissing, grabbing yash, doing all sorts of things with one instead of paying close attention to your house, to your partner, to someone you came into the house with. And I am still trying to question you guys. What is the relationship between Sean and Victoria? Anybody who has an answer, I would like to know. I'm moving on. The next topic on this video is the Zimwepe, guys. The Zimwepe started this kind of fight that was unnecessary. And I get it. Shinwe is trying to get, uh, mark her territory, secure her relationship with her man, and all sort of that. But this is big brother. And if you guys in a relationship decide to come into this house, know that your relationship will be tested. Know that female housemates are going to get under your nerves, try to get with your man just to see you squabble, just to see you angry, just to, just to poke you and see how you will react. And guys, she has been reacting in a bad way like the way she has been reacting is giving this housemate power to keep doing what they are doing but uh, luckily for them they finally made up and everybody is singing a uh, kumbaya and guys remember today is the party and yo this housemate are gonna throw down this housemate are gonna turn things up guys judging from what happened during the thursday pool party yo i'm expecting this housemate to have the best party in all the big brother but now the problem i'm having with this is there are 28 of them guys and if we are judging from previous seasons the party area is, is it's always congested the first week so imagine 24 housemates 20 housemates in the previous seasons and in the party area is congested none of them have the ability to always showcase their dance moves but having 28 unless big brother did something in the party area I can't wait to see how this housemate threw their party today. And guys, subscribe if you enjoy what we, are, what we are doing here. Give us a like and let me hear what your thoughts are down below in the comment section about everything that I've talked today in this video. I'll appreciate that. Have a blessed day.